Italy miss out on place in 2022 World Cup as Georginho's failure proves costly. Northern Ireland ensured history repeated itself as they threw a spanner in Italy's World Cup hopes again. They famously beat the Azeri at Windsor Park in 1958 to qualify for that year's finals in Sweden at their expense. And on Monday night Northern Ireland brilliantly frustrated Roberto Mancini's European champions, who must now try and reach Qatar through the playoffs after Switzerland beat Bulgaria to top the group. The result was easily the finest of Ian Barraclough's 20-match reign and it has restored some pride for the Northern Irish after a difficult campaign. They did not concede in their four qualifiers at home and might have sneaked a famous win when Stuart Dallas shot agonizingly wide and Connor Washington had an effort cleared off the line. Will Italy get through the playoffs to reach the World Cup? Have your say in the comments, Northern Ireland's green wall was resolute and Bailey Peacock Farrell dealt comfortably with what Italy could muster, making routine saves from Giovanni Di Lorenzo, Nicolo Barella, Federico Chiesa and Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne failed to capitalize on Italy's best chance from Tom Flanagan's square pass when he cut inside Craig Cathcart, only to shoot weakly with his left foot and Peacock Farrell saved easily. Northern Ireland went close when Gavin White picked out Jamal Lewis on the left and he teed up George Seville to hit a shot, which was well saved by Gianluigi Donnarumma. Italy became desperate and Peacock Farrell was alert to save Bernardi's free kick at his near post. Then came Dallas's big moment when fired wide before Washington had a shot cleared off the line in the final minute. Italy's failure to top Group C comes after Georginho missed a penalty in their 1-1 draw with eventual group winners Switzerland last Friday. The Chelsea midfielder blazed the 90th-minute spot kick over the bar after Giovanni Di Lorenzo cancelled out Steven Widmer's goal in the first half at the Stadio Olimpico. Is Steven Gerrard a good managerial appointment for Aston Villa? Give your verdict below. We missed a penalty in the first leg and one in the return. These things happen. Mancini told Riceport. Jorginho felt like kicking it, and it's right that he did. He is one of the best penalty takers in the team. In the first half we suffered and struggled. Then we came out well, but missed the winning goal. Italy could not find the back of the net when they needed.